In this video, we are going over how to properly white balance your drone footage so you can take your footage from looking like this to this. The first thing you're going to need is one of these, a white balance card or an 18% gray card. Both will work, they're basically the same thing. You can also get away with a white 8.5 by 11 piece of paper, that's probably the cheaper and easier option for most people. Anyway, there are two methods for white balancing your drone footage. The first method is to do it in camera using the DJI GO application. The second method is to white balance in post-production using Lightroom or Premiere. We'll be covering both in this video. The premises behind white balancing is you're giving your eyes, or the computer software, a reference point for what white is. We can make adjustments and corrections to the whiteness of the card, removing any strange hues or color tints from our images. The first thing you want to do is hold your white balance card or your sheet of paper in front of your drone camera. You want to be using manual camera settings to properly expose for the white piece of paper and you want to hold the paper in roughly the same lighting conditions as you're going to be shooting in. For white balancing in camera, what you want to do is go to settings, camera settings, white balance, manual, and then use the slider to adjust the white balance settings. Use your eyes to visually gauge the color of the card. You want it to be white with no weird hues or discoloration. I found this to be a little challenging on my tiny phone screen. To me, the white balance of 5000 Kelvin to 6700 Kelvin all looked pretty similar. I ended up settling on 6100 Kelvin as that looked the best and was somewhere in the middle. If you plan on white balancing in post-production, you can go through this similar process. This will help you get the best images possible while you're out in the field. Otherwise, you can select one of the default color profiles, such as sunny, cloudy, or one of the other lighting conditions. And again, just make sure to take a picture of the white balance card with the proper exposure. By taking a picture of the card, you can go back in post-production and select that as white. And as long as the white balance stays consistent across all your clips, you can apply the same edits and adjustments to make the footage look great. Again, the point of doing this is we are creating a reference point for what white should look like in our photos and videos. Sometimes the default white balance color profiles can cause a hue or discoloration, such as a warmer tone or a cooler tone. If you use manual white balance settings, like sunny or cloudy, then at least your footage looks consistent, but again, it just might not be perfectly accurate. Again, with the white balance card, we can fix that in editing. In Lightroom, what you want to do is switch to the develop tab, find one of the images with the white balance card, and grab this little eyedropper, click the eyedropper to pick it up, and pick a neutral target. In this case, I'm going to select the white card. You can see it made some minor changes and adjustments to this picture. It was less noticeable because I think I did a pretty good job white balancing in camera. As an example of something more extreme, if for instance there was a really weird blue hue when you were first trying this out, again, grab the eyedropper tool, click on the neutral target, and it will fix that image right up. So that's pretty great to see. We did find it worked really well with the neutral 18% gray on the back of the white balance card. However, again, it will work if you are using just white or a white piece of paper. Really anything can help out. You can then copy the white balance setting from one photo onto all the photos. In this case, the photos look pretty good already. So I will adjust them to look terrible. Okay, so now all of the images have a really gross blue hue. They don't look very natural. They don't look very good at all. What you want to do is go back to that image with your white balance card or your 18% gray card. You're going to hit Command C to bring up the copy settings panel. In this case, I am just copying the white balance. I'm going to hit copy, I'm going to select the first image, scroll all the way down, select the last image, right click, develop settings, paste settings. This will paste that white balance setting we got from that picture with the white balance card onto all of our images and make them look perfectly neutral, perfectly balanced, and I think pretty great, much more natural than they were before. This can really help out with editing your images and making them look as great as possible. In Premiere, what you want to do is find the clip where you hold the white balance card in front of the camera, click that and drag it to the right to create a new sequence. Find a spot where you are holding the card in front of the camera. For me, this looks perfect. And then come up to the top menu and click on color. This will open up the Lumetri color panel, select the clip, and here you will find a white balance selector. Click on that, and then click on the white of the card to automatically white balance the footage. So you can see the before had a very blue tint to it, and the after is more properly white balanced. 
Now you can take another clip, drag that into the sequence. Again, you can see this is very blue. It's got a blue hue to it. To fix this, all we're gonna do is click on the white balance clip we just fixed, hit Command C to copy, click on the clip that we want to fix that has the same white balance settings, go over to Edit, Paste Attributes, and here you can see the Lumetri color. We do not need any of these other options selected, and then click OK. And you can see that Fix the Clip now looks much more natural, uh, much more correct color-wise, and uh, much more professional. So there you go, that is how you use a white balance card or an 18% gray card to white balance your footage both in camera and in post-production to make your clips look more professional, more color accurate, and even better than before. Like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe for more videos like this one. I'm Stetson with Drone Genuity. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.